Super Battleship sets sail in a new battle type, attack aircraft get some adjustments, and friendly fire has been disabled. What's more, a brand new branch of German destroyers is now available for all players to research. Watch our review to get all the details. Captain, the Grand Battle is calling to you. It's a new temporary battle type with two super battleships as its main protagonists. Please welcome Satsuma, a battleship project based on the legendary Yamato. However, one major difference is that she borrowed the caliber of her main guns from another heavyweight, battleship Shikishima. Her main artillery comprises four twin gun turrets that house 510mm guns. The second super battleship stays within the traditions of German shipbuilding and is considered to be a direct descendant of the famous Grosser Kurfürst. Hanover has an impressive 32-128mm dual-purpose anti-aircraft artillery guns installed in 16 turrets. In other words, it's a fierce secondary battery that can pepper both enemy ships and aircraft full of holes. The battleship's main striking force lies in her eight 483mm guns. Quite something, right? The two super battleships have a special new mechanic to take advantage of, adjustment fire. I'm sure that you'll find it exciting and enjoy the fresh gameplay it brings. Any shells fired by each turret that either hit a locked target or splash down next to it will fill the adjustment fire meter. As soon as the meter is full, a temporary bonus that improves your super battleship's characteristics is activated. Satsuma gets an accuracy boost for her main battery while Hanover's secondary battery performance gets enhanced. If your ship ceases firing for a certain period of time, the progress of the adjustment fire meter resets. Want to know how you can get behind the helm of one of the super battleships? How you can test their mighty weapons and try out their new mechanics? Stay tuned, the answers are coming up. As we've already mentioned, the super battleships play a significant role in the grand battle event. It's a new battle type that pits teams of nine players against each other, playing tier nine and 10 ships, including the new super battleships. There's a limit of three super battleships per team. Now here's the main thing. You'll receive Hanover and Satsuma for rent and update 0.10.5. However, to enter battle playing one of them, you'll need a new temporary resource, intelligent reports. You'll start off with enough reports to fight your first battle playing a super battleship. For the battles that follow, you'll need to earn more reports by taking over tier 9 and 10 ships into the grand battle. Participate in the new event to earn dazzling, expendable camouflages, the grand battle flag, a patch, and several commemorative achievements. Z31, Gustav Julius Merker, Felix Schultz, and tier 10 Elbing. Update 0.10.5 brings new researchable German destroyers. Expect powerful 150mm armor-piercing shells, decent armor for the ship type, and high-precision guns. These German newcomers are likely to catch the attention of even the most experienced destroyer captains. Don't believe me? Then try them out for yourself in Update 0.10.5. Attention on deck. Important information. Friendly fire is disabled in update 0.10.5. From now on, your teammates won't be able to damage and sink your ship. The warning about nearby allied torpedoes has also been removed. They can still hit your ship but won't inflict any damage. But don't think that you can now torpedo your allies or pelt them with shells and go unpunished. Doing so may result in a warning for unsportsmanlike conduct being issued. If the perpetrator doesn't stop, the punishment will be stricter. They'll first receive an HP penalty, and if they continue, they'll be sent to co-op battles to think about their behavior. Any players who are issued warnings for unsportsmanlike conduct in a battle do not earn any credits or XP for that battle. The update also brings some adjustments to carrier aviation, attack aircraft specifically. We've updated the rocket launching mechanics. Attack aircraft now fire small caliber machine guns prior to an attack. These don't inflict damage to ships, but they do show the exact spot where the rockets are going to hit. You can't alter the course of attack aircraft while this is happening, 
and it will give maneuverable ships a chance to dodge incoming rockets. Let's move on to some other news for update 0.10.5. Recruitment points have been changed. This resource has been renamed Community Tokens. In addition to earning them by inviting new players, you can now also get them for various activities, such as participating in the public test or watching streams. You can exchange Community Tokens for ships, camouflages, commemorative flags, and other useful items in the armory. We hope you enjoyed this summary of the most important new features in Update 0.10.5. As usual, you can find detailed information in a dedicated article on our official website. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to stay tuned for the next episode. All done? Then see you in battle, Captain.